go forensics down here now. A witness saw the assailant fleeing the scene 20 minutes ago. What I need is I need your men to come down here and canvas the area. Um, I'm going to call you back. Something isn't right here. I'm Agent Mulder with the FBI. I'm here to liaise with your department. What does the FBI want with an open shut case like this? What did you say your name was? I'm Agent Mulder, Special Agent Fred Mulder, FBI Curious Cases Unit, and I'm here to investigate this unexplained death. It's explained. It's very explained. The only thing we don't know is exactly who killed him. Who killed him? Or what killed him? I think it's who. Look at the body. Stab wound to the chest, bruises on the wrist, wallet missing. Man seen fleeing the scene in a black coat approximately 20 minutes ago. Open shut. Murder. Robbery. Let me stop you there. I was already finished. What you seem to be missing is this is clearly the work of aliens. Aliens? Picture this. Four and a half billion years ago, a rock catapults off Mars into the Earth. It lands somewhere in Siberia and lies dormant until the time of man. Settlers arrive and disturb it. But something's there. Something from not of this world. It grows, it creates a virus we know today as... This man was stabbed. They didn't die from any kind of infection. But in the 1940s, the Germans began performing secret experiments on unwilling human participants as part of a eugenics program. The program's aim was to create super soldiers to fight for the Nazi war machine. I thought you said it was aliens. It is. I'm getting to that. But in 1946, a German industrialist named Strugel fled the country after the fall of the Nazi regime. He went to Tunisia, where he continues his work to this day. And that is who killed this man. A German industrialist called Strugel. Precisely. He said it was aliens. Exactly. Aliens wanted to take this man's brain and run tests on it. What for? This man was a baker. They took his wallet so they could find out how humans communicated information to one another. That seems a bit unlikely. Wait, what's that? Do you know what this is? I can't even see anything there. It's hair. Oh, I've been such a fool. This man wasn't killed by aliens. No shit. He was killed by a gru. A what? A gru. In Swedish, gruflik. In Danish, grufold. They're fearsome creatures that inhabit the dark places of the earth. What in the holy mother of fuck are you going on about? This man was killed at night. In the pitch black, you are likely to be eaten by a gru. He wasn't eaten alive! He's been stabbed! Then that means he was killed by ghosts! Come on, seriously! Hold on, I'll explain. Hi there, Jesus. Hi there, Einstein. Jesus, do you know what I want to talk to you about today? No. Well, I want to talk to you about ghosts. Oh, I love ghosts. Whoop, 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 whoop. That's right. Do you know how a ghost is formed? No. Well, when a person dies, their soul leaves their bodies. Well, when a person dies, doesn't their soul go to heaven or hell if they've committed a number of nefarious deeds? Usually. But sometimes the particles that make up their soul get lost. They get lost and wander about the earth and they often commit violent acts, such as murder slash robbery. Really? I never knew that before, Einstein. Well, the more you know, Jesus, the more you know. Einstein? Yes, Jesus. What's love? What's love? What's love got to do, got to do with it? Get the fuck off my crime scene. Fine, but you'll be sorry when your so-called mugger doesn't show up. The mugger showed up. Then my work here is done. 